So I'm back with another convention video. This one is QuadCon, which was held on March 26th in St. Charles, Missouri. Let's check it out. If you're not familiar with QuadCon, it's a convention that travels around the Midwest, not only in Missouri, but also in states like Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Main focus is comics, toys, art, and games, but more on that a little bit later. This was my first time attending QuadCon, and honestly, I can't believe I almost skipped this one. Entry's only five bucks, and sometimes it's even cheaper if you have a coupon. So the first thing I noticed was the sheer amount of comics. Now, I'm not really a comic book guy, but even I was impressed. I mean, if comics are your thing, this is a con you're going to want to check out. The next thing that hits you is the vintage toys. I was absolutely blown away by the selection of vintage toys that were there. You name it, they had it. So I finally found a vendor selling video games, and while he had a nice variety of good stuff, prices were kind of high, even by convention standards. Do you ever get the feeling somebody is watching you? Well, in this case, there was. It was friend of the channel, Retro Mikey 78. It is. <laughs> it's Mr. Mikey. Whoa, blue haired stormtrooper with his helmet off? Come on, bro, put that shit back on. Yeah, that's more like it. The venue that this was held at, the Olympia Sports and Events Center, was very cool. It's just an old industrial building with lots of exposed brick and high ceilings. There were also a lot of local artists selling one-of-a-kind prints, like these here. And if Funko Pop's your thing, well, there was definitely no shortage of those either. I ran into friends Ed and Tim, and they gave me a peek at some of the pops they picked up. Now this is what I like to see, a vendor selling reasonably priced video games. Now most of these games were under price charting and I managed to find a few gems. So make sure to stick around at the end to see what I picked up. This guy was even selling some repros as well as a Panasonic 3DO, which I never owned and I don't plan to. First rule of QuadCon, do not touch Joker Puppet. It seemed like everywhere I turned, there was something cool to look at. Now 
Now I mentioned earlier that Quadcon's main focus is on comics, toys, art, and games, and they do try to spread those four topics equally. However, out of all of those, video games was the least represented. So in the future, I would love to see video games have a much larger presence at Quadcon. This vendor had some of the coolest 3D printed items I have ever seen. These were oversized Game Boy, N64, and Genesis carts that you could hang on a wall. I mean, check out the detail in these 3D prints. There was even a guy selling box Barbies, if that's something you're into. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Did I mention there was an insane amount of comics here? Yeah, now this is the Jason that I remember. There's Obi-Wan checking out the vintage Star Wars toys. Followed closely by Boba Fett. Now I've been to the Toy Man show before that's held every couple months in St. Louis and I thought that had an amazing selection of vintage toys. And I could be wrong, but this convention seemed to have even more. I did happen to find one other vendor that had video games and his prices were pretty reasonable as well. But yeah, only three people in this entire floor space were selling games, so nowhere near the 25% that I was hoping for. If I had to break the vendors down by percentages, I would say it was 40% comics, 45% toys, 10% art, and maybe 5% video games. Who knows, maybe I can help balance that out in the future. Ah, Godzilla and Ultraman. Now we're talking my generation. It was also really cool to see a lot of cosplay. It's not something I would do, but I do enjoy seeing people put effort into their costumes. Really kicking myself for not buying this t-shirt. It was priced right and would have been a hit at this year's Christmas party. Happy trails, Hans. It's also cool to see that they also serve beer. Out of these six, yeah, I think I'd take the golden light. So there's a quick look at QuadCon for March 26th, 2023. I am so glad that I went. I even ran into Mr. Ben Bizzle for the second time in a month. Now, if you're interested in checking it out in your area, I will put some dates up on the screen. Considering how cheap it is to get in, you're not gonna wanna pass this one up if you have a chance to go. Now, as promised, I wanna show you just a few items that I picked up. I got Dr. Mario on NES for five bucks, Metal Gear on NES for five bucks, the six disc Star Wars trilogy on Blu-ray for five bucks, and a PS2 Logitech wireless controller dongle for three dollars. The peeps, they already had those. Not bad for 18 bucks total. And just a reminder, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up on the way out. All right, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you on the next one.